It was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, a moment of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class! Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not going to let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're going to stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow.
even is this?
Excuse me. I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah, you're in the right place. His office is in the east wing, first floor. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. Hmm. Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Reen? Uh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I'm and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not going to learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. Hey, it's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? Well, eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sister's asked me that before, too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you think you did on the exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Still, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machia scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Uh, aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. It's not that major or anything. Especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal. Though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in the Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20 or so? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. 
Anyway, maybe the uh, upper class storm has a new hire starting out or something? Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. are over. I feel free as a bird. And they'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. <sighs> just, just stop before you embarrass yourself. 
We'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... She's going to meet her secret lover? Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but that personality and that lifestyle... <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after pulling up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Think of it, where did Gaius run off to? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh, yeah. wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early, too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so too? It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. Even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Oh no, getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry, we're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it didn't make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Delightful to see you again. Oh, hey, it's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? What are you doing here? She did it. Mother didn't. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. 
Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household, Lady Elisa's family. I will do all I can to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her! I'm not going to let her have her way this time! My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself, thank you very much! Oh, fine! I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office of corporate today, or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yeah, I... I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, one with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous! Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? I mean, stop treating me like a child. Though yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number.